Collins, Miguel Diaz in the uh, corner of Mayweather doing the uh, cut work in round number three. An accidental but they bumped heads, Chavez and Mayweather in round two. Now the professional experience of Floyd Mayweather is enhanced as he has to be thinking about that cut, battling a southpaw, all part of the education in his ninth professional fight. And Tim Chavez certainly had to uh, gain a little confidence when he saw that blood uh, coming out of Mayweather's eye. You can see the way he started this round. And the blood on the face of Chavez was indeed uh, Floyd Mayweather's. He does not appear to have any mixer cuts himself. But again, you can see Chavez continually moving to his right, and that is not good for Floyd Mayweather. You see how this throws Mayweather off. The fact that the uh, target is exactly the opposite of what he's used to. Right hand lead, that scored. Mayweather's hand speed is so much quicker than Chavez and his punching power. Chavez, 22 and 16 with 12 knockouts. That record does not include all the fights he had in Mexico, which were undocumented. He's 29 years of age. Tim, his body looks in great shape, though, Tim. Chavez. It doesn't look like one of those used-up guys that uh, stands high around the middle. And a minute to go, round number three, scheduled for six. 130 pounds. Mayweather going to the body for the first time, and their right hand lead landed right up the pipe. Well, he's loosening up now, Mayweather. A lot more confidence in himself. Now the jab starting to hammer into the face of Chavez. But again, Mayweather has to learn how to cut that ring off. Now 30 seconds to go in the third. A mature performance here in this third round by Mayweather, not troubled by the cut and Chavez unable to reopen it so far. Miguel Diaz did a great job on that cut. Final seconds of round number three. Mayweather growing in confidence. We're back live for round number four of the scheduled six-round super featherweight bout. Floyd Mayweather on the right of your screen. Jesus Chavez from Hermosillo, Mexico. Now in the foreground and the jab of Mayweather starting to find its range with more regularity here in the fourth. No further uh, bleeding from the cut through round number three, the cut that occurred in the second round. But cause of that. And in fact, the old team that uh, Mayweather gained in confidence through the third round. But well, he, he was fighting with an urgency in that third round. He knew he was cut, started to take some chances with that right hand lead, and he was very, very effective. <laughs> Chavez, the 29-year-old veteran, Mayweather, the rookie on the pro tour, if you will, just turned 20 years of age in his ninth pro bout. Bronze medalist in the is where he should be throwing that left hook, Tim. Right underneath the right elbow of Chavez. That sets everything else up if he can land that punch. In that sneaky, fast, right-hand lead connecting. <laughs> Another right hand lead scores. Chavez, for his part, is having trouble hitting Mayweather at all. Going for Mayweather or something, I'm not sure. I'll see the rest of his left hand without jail. Okay, the catch. Yeah. Finally, Chavez finds a little range, scoring to the arms of Mayweather. And Mayweather is taking control of the fight here in the fourth. But again, he just can't land there. Again, anytime he throws that left hook underneath, back up on the chin, that's his best combination. 
Now showing his ability to elude punches. Foot speed and leaning away from Chavez. Right hand lead becoming more effective. After 30 seconds we go in the fourth round, scheduled for six. That was the best left hook of the night. Back to the ear of Chavez and that's it backwards. So now he adds another left hook and down goes Chavez. Three, four, right hand lead and the left hook behind it. Sending Chavez to the canvas. Remember Eric Morrell, another Olympian, follows this bout. And Canadian Olympian Kirk Johnson, undefeated as a pro, a heavyweight, will be our featured bout. Take a look at the knockdown, Gil. All right, here we see. Here's that left hook again. Again, the most effective punch against the southpaw. Nice, solid right hand. There's the left hook on the chin again. And down goes Chavez. That first right to the body got Chavez's attention. And there's the left hook that sent him to the canvas. The body shot for the right hand. The one that uh, turned him away and set him up for the punches that followed. So Floyd Mayweather with a knockdown. In the fourth round. And we're ready for round number five. A little slow to get out of his corner. They'd probably remove the spit bucket. Uncle Roger, the former two-time champion helping in the corner. And Mayweather in control of the fight now with a knockdown scored in round number four. Circling to his right. See whether, and there comes Chavez. Trying to get himself back into the fight with a flurry, but most of the punch is well blocked by Mayweather resting in the corner. When Mayweather is trying to use this strategy, Tim, to open up Chavez because he's just had so much problem landing his solid punches uh, with the way he's been moving. But if he can catch Chavez in the middle of throwing a punch, he can get this fight over with. Two solid shots from Mayweather there with the right hand body and head. A little blood from his cut again now here. That first opening flurry by Chavez able to start the bleeding and Chavez certainly not uh, going away anywhere here. He's trying to battle back in the fifth. This is scheduled for six. looking for that opening, not forcing the action here. And to Chavez credit, he's digging in. As he came out hard here in the fifth. Right hand lead again, he's been very effective with that. He's accurate when he throws it. And now he wobbles, Chavez who goes down, and it is a knockdown. Left hook, Tim, right hand, left hook. Second knockdown of the fight, this is here in the fifth. Chavez up quickly at the count of eight. Fox. No. And now the referee, Paul Cena, says, no, that's enough. As Chavez did not look to come back to the center of the ring. When he got up quickly, it looked like he was ready to keep going. But then he wobbled a bit. Paul Cena saw that and says, that's enough. And so Floyd Mayweather has scored his seventh professional knockout in nine bouts. He is unbeaten 9-0 and oh with a knockout victory here in the sixth. Then he, a fifth, pardon me, sending Chavez down. Straight right hand, there's that left hook, Tim. And that was it, right hand, left hook. Another look at it here from our overhead camera. Such quick hands. One of the things you talked about impressing you in his uh, amateur uh, appearance in the Olympics, Floyd Mayweather with those very quick hands, and he shows it here, that right hand lead, very effective. 
Chavez did get up at the count of eight, but uh, unable to continue, and referee Paul Sita jumped in there. And so, uh, next up now will be yet another American Olympian, Eric Morrell, the junior Bantamweight, outstanding-looking young professional, also undefeated in eight.